crippled their gaming teams. And yes, I did. And so now they're do what? Oh, I need some. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I can share. All right, well that's going. So we'll see how it turns out later. I'm just, I'm just so excited. Fucking waiting for. Uh, I really hope they announce Skyward Sword HD. <laughs> God. <laughs> okay, okay. So get this: the fucking uh, Captain Toad mi- showed that it's possible that you can use the Joy Cons to point and it to recognize it on the TV. Wow. So yeah, so they could totally do Skyward Sword easily and keep the same mechanics or incorporate. Uh, just button yes, mechanics. They, what they should do is keep the motion mechanics, but also make have an option for a regular yeah. controller mechanics. Which I think they will do because they kind of uh, did that for Twilight Princess HD. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And also Wind Waker, you could choose between the controls. Like you can use the gamepad, or you can play it the original way, which was using just a controller and just press the menu for your options instead of having the second screen. <laughs> I still need to play that game, but my friend still has my Wii U. And he's still going to have it for a while. But I still need to play it. Your Wii U? Yeah, he, I, I lent it to him. That's why I stopped playing Wind Waker. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. But I only did, like, two dungeons, so... I wasn't that far in it. I only had, like, the first uh, stone for the... Wind Waker. Yeah. Hot tamale. Oh, Willow. Pass me the... Will you bear? Will or will you bear? Will suffice. Will you bear? William. Yes. Sir William Esquire. <laughs> Bill, that's why. <laughs> uh, I am stoked that they're making another one of Bill and Ted. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It starts filming in January. Thank you. And I'm pumped. Will you pass the crack pipe, please? <laughs> Thank you. I think that's the number five. A bunch of people I watch on which are just now starting our live streams, probably because Bethesda's thing ended. Wait, so, so did you download an app to record, or are you Yeah, just yeah, it's, no, it's an app. Is the, it free? Yes, it is. Oh, I brought... I, it's called your oh, mind. no, I didn't bring my iPad, never mind. I mean, I can next time. Yeah, I mean, this is about the distance I set it down to see how well it would pick up my voice, and even a normal speaking voice, it picked it up really well, so... sheet everything is the skill section itself mm-hmm. take a brief moment look at that and see how everything's more condensed right like a lot of your jumps and other such nonsense you had to do different roles for would be all classified as actual jump skills okay and then you have your own climb then acrobatics would be more like um oh, the actual description of the book However, a little big, maybe. Really, it's not that big. Uh, Star Wars <coughs> Star Wars edition is probably my favorite. speed across difficult terrain, keep your balance while walking on a narrow surface, take less damage from a fall, slip free restraints or a grappling foe, and get up from prone safely. In addition to specific options listed below, you can use acrobatics to perform typical tumbling, flipping, or gymnastic maneuvers. So it's basically as it is what it is. Anything gotcha. that makes you use dexterity as a finesse kind of feat or feature or mm-hmm. you know, attempt would be more of an acrobatics kind of thing. You know, climbs, obviously, you know, self-explanatory. I like how this already has half of it filled out. It really doesn't. That was just the uh, PDF 
version that I found for it. Uh, it was a fine. one where you can put the values in and it'll figure everything out for you. Oh, okay, so we're just going to write over them. Uh-huh. They're At least they're somewhat faded. Yeah, I was going to say, they're pretty much faded, so yeah. after, you know, writing on it a couple times, it should go away. I like this dark side score down here. Yes, there. that'll be explained here in a little while. Yeah. And then on the back side, you'll notice that it's even more, you know, less. It's, it's less. You have a huge spot yeah. for equipment. So it's, this is much more manageable mm -hmm. uh, in terms. And then, like, you can see the bottom right, it shows your carrying capacity on your equipment side. Underneath yeah. you see your languages uh, and talents, here, your feeds, yeah. your credits will go underneath where it says carrying capacity. If you become or somehow use force powers, you know, you'll be listed there. If not, you can write down like your species traits and other such Yeah, nonsense. or like any special abilities you yeah, have. Yeah, because you do have your special combat actions that you can Sweet. write up here if you have any. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> but take a moment to like look around on your character sheet where the hit points are, where certain things are, look at your condition track. You know, uh, all this will be explained to you guys tonight, and we might, like, you know, I'll have you guys fight a few things and see how combat rolls for you. Right. Because the movement is about the same as it was when we were playing D&D 3.5. Okay. And the actions are about the same. My charger's still plugged in. <laughs> oh, well. When I left it. <laughs> hey, your charger's still here. Yeah. Out of sight, out of mind. I wonder if the one that I had over there is still plugged in. That would be fantastic. Uh. You took that one already. Oh, did it? Or that's, maybe that one moved over there. I don't know. I know I've, I've lost like two at one time, but I'm not sure. Ouch. Uh, where, I'm a, where do we write our class at? Class level? Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotcha. So that'll be our class <coughs> and our level put together. You would write whatever class you are and what level you are in that one, because you can't cross. They don't have separate like they do on D&D. &D. No. They oh. don't have those kind of sheets. Dyson, did you hear about uh, <coughs> Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee? Yes, I did. Yeah, that'll be ex more. We'll be shown on that during a Eevee. Nintendo yeah. conference. Oh, I'm so fucking excited for it. Right now... You guys are going to need more D4, D6s D for this. Okay. Rolling it for your stats. Remember how you did it last time? Roll how many four. do we need to roll? Roll four. Four of them? Okay. Seven different times. Count the three highest. Okay. Anything lower than a ten, re-roll. Because I only have... And if you roll a one, re-roll I might it. just wait for you to get uh, down. Yeah, I only have six bags, so... I was say, yeah, it doesn't matter. I mean, you guys can take however long you want. Yeah. Are you recording now? It is recording, yeah. Maybe. Oh, cool. Since mom's got it going on. <laughs> but the species that it lists and the core rulebook for the saga rules alone are human with, you know, the standard no ability adjustments. Right. You have the boffins, which are plus two dexterity, minus two constitution. You have the Syrians, which they are, um, what the fuck is this name? Like that one Jedi with the long gated head, Kiati. Yeah. Kiati Mundi. Uh, let's see. Plus two to intelligence, plus two to wisdom, but minus two to dexterity. They don't really have anything special for themselves. Then you have the Duros, which was the band. You know, every alien that played in the band, the Cantina <laughs> band, that's a Duros. <laughs> they have a plus two to dexterity and a plus two to intelligence and a minus two to constitution. <laughs> I'm, I'm writing the three highest combined total. Adding the three highest combined, yeah, yeah, seven okay. different times. Gotcha. You can play as an Ewok. Reroll mm. ones. Reroll, okay. That mm. might be something. Fine. It's a plus two to dexterity, minus two to strength. Um, Ewoks and Gungans, I loathe. So. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll go with. <laughs> <laughs> you can even be a Gamorrean. There was a uh, <laughs> Jesus. There was a Gamorian in X Wing uh, series of novels. He was a scientist, scientific experiment where he was able to learn how to read and talk and fly, uh, fly a Tie Fighter and an X Wing. Go 
joined the X-Wing Rogue Squadron, which at the time actually was known as, um, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I think it was Wraith Squadron. Anyways, but the Gamorreans, uh, plus two to strength, minus two to dexterity, minus two to intelligence. They are beefy, beefy hmm. usually lumbering idiots. Cool. They didn't have your Gungans. Um, they can hold their breath under water for 25 no, more t- 25 times the constitution score uh, and equal to the rounds. But plus two to dexterity, minus two to intelligence, and minus two to charisma. Okay. Go and figure. You, you don't want anything less suck. than 10? Yeah, so re-roll that whole total. Okay. Okay, <laughs> look at that. That's the second time I've rolled. Yeah, I seen. Back. I remember last time. Yeah. Wow. I'm getting it all out of my system. There you go. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you That's a good number. That's a good one. Yeah. Good old yeah. sixteen. Yeah. Wait, sixteen. Oh my so god. Drop, so drop your lowest one. <coughs> which would be the twelve. Yeah. Which that's really good rules, sir. Yeah. Good nice. So. Ready? Do, well. do the same for yourself. Okay, I only need three. Uh, you got Ithorian, which they're the ones that had the weird elongated How head that looks like a hammerhead. Oh, yeah. Uh, re-roll ones, remember? They have a plus yeah, two to wisdom, yeah. plus two to charisma, but a minus two to, two to dexterity. And I choose the three highest numbers? Yeah, add the okay. three highest numbers together. Yeah. Oh, okay. So you got 15 there? No. Yeah. Six, yeah. five, and a yeah. four? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 15. Yeah, more. Scratches. Get Keldors. Okay, that would be. Which were like, uh. Pluku, the Jedi with the breathing mask. Right. They have to have that breathing mask and goggles because of their atmosphere. Um, they have a specific atmosphere. Let's see. Without protective goggles, the Keldor is considered blind. And without the Antiox breath mask, the Keldor begins to suffocate. Their planet has a specific type of atmosphere. See, uh, cannot breathe on planets with common nitrogen oxygen atmospheres. Well, they live in a world with an atmosphere considering mostly of helium and a gas that is unique to that world. So their breath masks are bio. Yeah. So it costs money to get filters to, you know, replace it, and a replacement mask is like 2,000 credits. So. You can be Mon Calamari. <laughs> yeah. Plus two to intelligence, plus two to wisdom, minus two to <laughs> constitution. Is that a burrito? <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> okay, I got mine. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Shit. It's not bad. You're a basic villager. <laughs> <laughs> and I got good rolls. <laughs> I got good rolls. You can both got good rolls, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can be a Rodian. You can see if you can shoot first. Plus two to dex, Ooh. minus two to wisdom and charisma. You can be a Solaston. Sounds sexy. You remember in Return of the Jedi, mm-hmm. the weird-looking fish alien that was riding with Lando on the oh, final yeah. battle? Yeah, yeah that's it. No. It's a trap. <laughs> yeah. No, that was, the, that was the other guys. That was... Uh, oh, okay. That was... Uh, that was the Mon, Mon Calamari. Calamari. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sweet. Uh-huh. See uh-huh. a picture uh-huh. of a Admiral Akbar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I see him. I'd be good. It. Anyways, uh, plus uh-huh. two to Dex and a minus two to Constitution. You could be one of my favorite species, the Trandoshans. Bosk. Cute. Uh, plus two to strength and minus two to dex. They're powerful but lack agility. They do regenerate their own limbs and have a natural plus one to their armor bonus for natural armor. Hmm. You could be Twi'lek or Twi'lek if you want to be a dick about it. Plus two to hmm. charisma, minus two to wisdom. You could be a Wookiee. With a whopping plus four to strength, plus two to constitution, minus two to dexterity, minus two to wisdom, and minus two to charisma. Oh, well, they gotta make them dumb. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't dumb. Chewbacca's smart. And you could be a Zabrak, which is Darth Maul. However, Zabraks, mm-hmm. if you go along with the Kotar 2 RPG, um... Zabrax are basically just like, you know, standard skin tones, sometimes tannish. Their cult, their home world is kind of a desert plain in a way. Those that turn evil, like Darth Maul, will have the facial tattoos of black and red. And those that are good have like the opposite blue and such. I think it's like, I'm 
I think it's like more like a blue and gray. I don't think it's blue and white, but it's, it's like lighter a, it's probably like a silver. Something like that, probably. Yeah. But they don't have any Bidley modifiers either, because they're more human than anything else. They do have a plus one species bonus to all their defenses, which is like fortitude, reflex, and will. Gotcha. And those go up per level, because you add your level or your armor class to it, depending. And I do have other books with other species in them, because I do have the whole collection, because I spent a lot of my tax return five years ago to get them all. <laughs> nice. And that's what you do with a tax return. Yeah. You buy yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. I think I got, like, um, Xbox One with mine. Well, this is, like, four or five years ago, like I said. Yeah. I had a couple of already. big things, usually. Yeah. It's either been like I'll buy this a new system. This is basically the monster manual, Threats of the Galaxy. Oh yeah. boy, this old is General my, Grievous. My old good old puppy. Usually, like for the past couple of years, it's been every big like sale or whatever, uh, or like money thing that I've ran into. I've bought a, like bought a new console. Like I got, I especially bought a new console every November when we got the PlayStation. I didn't console. tell you. You know, I was paying back Jordan for buying the Switch for me. Uh huh. I paid him 150 bucks. Yeah. You know, then I had to buy Jack cleats for his baseball game. Oh. And I told him that. I was like, I'll get you next time. Not a problem. He said, not a problem, man. You know, go for it. You know, it's for your kid, right? I go to pay him next time. And he, he takes the payment. And then the next payment comes up. And he's like, hey, about the payment. I was like, yeah, what's up? And he goes, don't worry about it. I said, what do you mean? He goes, I'm, it was nice to get the extra 50 bucks a month. But I live at home with my parents. I don't really need the extra money. And I already got because we just had the my share. He was like, we just got a thousand dollars, dude. <laughs> Jesus, was that what the my share was? <coughs> well, five fifty. Oh five. Oh fucking max wow. for full timers. That would be that would have been awesome. It was nice. <laughs> we got caught up in some stuff. Something. But yeah, yeah. I basically paid hundred fifty bucks for a switch. I believe I paid the least amount for a switch than any motherfucker out there. And if you think about it, Jordan paid one and a half. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing in this one. There's got to be... Yes, there's a couple species in this, and there's probably a few you've probably never heard of. There was a few I never heard of either until this. I looked them up. You have this weird... The reptilian species. Call it Barabelle. Plus two to strength, minus two to dex and wisdom. A shade, a lerman, a tong, thakwash. Hmm. <laughs> Plus four to strength, minus it's two to dex, minus person. two to charisma. Right? <laughs> Triani, which is like, it's kind of like a wolf. Yeah. Plus two to wisdom. A wear man. <laughs> <laughs> then you have. Uh, Yvetha? Yvetha. Bunch of spikes. Scaly face. Yeah. Plus two to strength, minus two to chrism. A yism. Look like a gorilla. Pissed off. Mookie gorilla. Zygerian. Zygerian. Plus two to constitution, minus two to wisdom. Hmm. I don't know those, uh... The, what was it, the, this guy? Gen was Ocean. he the one with the armor? The natural armor, plus uh, one, yeah. Yeah, him and uh, these Zabrak sound pretty good since I have a plus one to the, what, species stuff? Uh, the defenses. The defenses? Plus one species bonus. So, being, like... Being that species, you get a plus one bonus to all your... Oh, okay, so for two... Reflexes. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Yeah, that's pretty handy. You could be a blood carver. Looks like a raptor. Yeah. A Claudite, which was that bounty hunter that was a changeling that Anakin chased down and attack other clones in the beginning. The one that was trying to kill Padme. Yeah. 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 That's called a Claudite. Hmm. Minus two to strength, little weak bitches. But plus uh, two to charisma. I kick my you give you a Falling, which is a species that is well known in the EU. The old EU, I guess oh, you could she's say now. Cute. But minus two to wisdom, plus two to charisma. Hmm. You could be a Gond which is 
actually a species of one of the bounty hunters that was on Vader's flagship. Yeah. And Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> uh, I believe his name was Succus. There we go, right there, that the next character. Jabba? Uh-huh. You want to go on as a plus two to wisdom, <laughs> minus two to charisma. With a Jabba, you know what a Jabba is. Uh-huh. Minus two to strength, plus two to dex. <laughs> a Ren. It's kind of a neat little species. They kind of remind me of the Ruto from Breath of the Wild. Their nose has holes in it to where they can make whistling noises and distract, you know, make distractions. Oh, that's cool. Plus two to charisma. And they have you a clarinet be, belt into their, their face. Yeah. <laughs> you could be a Toydarian, which is Wado. Minus two to strength, plus two to wisdom. Ubis, which in Return of the Jedi, when Leia is in that uh, bounty hunter getup, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I believe that was a Ubis bounty hunter getup. It's actually a species. With minus two to constitution, plus two to dex. There it is. So there is those. I mean, I'm not sure. Not all of them have some. But there's a lot of species that go through. This one definitely has it. You ever heard of Thrawn? Grand Admiral Thrawn? Yes. That species is in here. Oh, nice. Let's see. There's a mouse like feet. One called the Shadrafan. Mm-hmm. Plus two to dexterity, minus two to wisdom. It's a weird bug like mandible. Zonti. Is Yoda's. Uh species in here? That species is unknown to the galaxy. Okay, and I figured. If you go with the Kotar um, knowledge, too, there's only two to their knowledge that ever existed. Yeah. Yaddle was the very first one. Mm-hmm. And it was a female. Then there's Ooh. Yoda, who mm-hmm. was a male. And they never reproduce? I don't know. Sad. Somehow, somebody somewhere did. Mm-hmm. There's they a turtle. They fucking ever, too. Yeah. <laughs> Turtle-like creature, uh, Ishatib. Kravaki, Nikto, mm-hmm. <laughs> a werewolf looking motherfucker, Shistavin. Yeah. There's a lot of shit. You can pick from wherever, honestly, but. Yeah. If you want to look at those while I'm looking at the other ones here. Oh, yeah. I don't think there's anything in this one. Oh, there it is. You want to be like Han Solo and I'll be Chewbacca. Because <laughs> he said we can be the actual characters, right? No. You can't? No. Oh. <laughs> Sad face. I thought you said at one time we could. No. Oh. Okay. You could be a Bith, the other can, the other song players. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can we resemble them? No. Oh. Give you Godel. It's like a half goat, half man. Godel. <laughs> you give me a Nemodian. Oh fuck yeah! <laughs> are the, oh, are they the <coughs> the the um, Galactic, Galactic Trade Federation? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can I think of the name for a second? Umbaran okay, so That wasn't the. Wrong. This species Zabrak, speak, read, and write Zabrak and basic. Mm-hmm. Basic is like the English. Yeah, word. common. Yeah. I'm, I'm ex- assuming. <laughs> this is the nice the old uh, Old Republic campaign setting stuff. Yeah. It's got Arcanians, Drathos, Kathars, Barrowins, Kill. They're adventurers. Ricotta, uh, Ricotta's, Marilucos. And they're confident. <laughs> honestly, I'd say just pick from this book, because that way we can just vocal on just one book, honestly. But yeah. I got the Clone Wars campaign, okay. I got the Force Unleashed, Rebellion Era campaign, and the Legacy Era campaign, which is probably where I'm looking for, because there's a bunch of species in this one. Is the Force Unleashed, is that based off the game? Yes. Nice. The era of the game, yeah. and um, like important characters are in here, like the stats for them. Mm-hmm. So, there's stats for uh, let's see, oh, actually, 
All right, here's the uh, information for Thrawn's species, the Chiss. Plus two intelligence. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, they're actually really... They're a tough cookie. I have stats for proxy. Hmm. <coughs> stats for a lot of the weapons and other vehicles and such that were in the game. Even their ship broke shadow. I have stats for Bail Organa. Master Rob Coda. Shock T. Kazdin Paratus. Maris Brood. Axel Roof. That bull rank one. Oh, fuck yeah. The Transoceans gain toughness as a bonus feat. I like toughness. You get extra HP. That's three. Yeah, it's three extra HP. I'm pretty sure it's the same. <laughs> yeah. Might be a little different. Yeah, yeah, whatever, whatever amount of extra H HP. I like the lemon generation, the way they do it. Mm -hmm. You roll 1d10, and that determines how many days it takes for the lemon to grow back. Yeah. I like that. My, one of my best friends, Derek, he played a trend ocean. Mm -hmm. He did it so well. He did it so fucking well. <laughs> favorite era, legacy era. Yeah, the just species stuff is in here too. Right. So is the Uzlong Vong. Bastards of the Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> the legacy era basically began well, 28 years after the Battle of Yavin is when, like, that era, as in these books say, that's when it began. But, like, it really began probably sometime 100 years after the Battle of Yavin or so. 120, maybe. You know, I might have another friend who would totally be into this. What's her name? His name is Chris. Cheshire. I he went to Lamar with me. He's gay. He's gay. Gay. You're just trying to get his pants, are you? Uh, we did fuck once. So, uh, I, li I like how they do the languages for the Wookiee. It's like, they know basic, cannot speak it, but they know yeah. it. <laughs> they, they understand it. Man, I, uh, they, I like their extra or extraordinary uh, recuperation. They can yeah. double their, they get hit points at double the rate. Mm -hmm. It's pretty um. awesome. <coughs> Honestly, I think you guys would like Chris because he's gay, but he's like a logger, so he o he totally acts like super manly all the time and shit, and he's always <laughs> he's the one he's, like, he's uh, the one all the other gay guys are after. And, uh, <laughs> and he's he's uh, when he turned gay for yeah, he's uh, super conservative gay person. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, me and him. We'd, yeah, you guys would tired. totally be... And then <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't get bad enough where it would, like, be something... He wouldn't, like, try to piss off Will or something, yeah. or, or if he said something... Now, the most conservative person I've ever met in my life is If he ever my, does come uncle. over, you need to warn him that I have no filter. I am in my own home. Yeah. <laughs> but he might not like, uh... He might not like the weed. 
aspect of it, though. Well, you can so you might not come be just because of that. I mean, if I if I can handle it, then he can handle it. Like, Dude, some people he's like, like super you know, against it. He's very uncomfortable around it. Then he better not come over because I'm not gonna stop. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. It's like it's not gonna be us. Yeah, I'm like, we do no favors. I do have schematics for some ships that you can acquire. Nice. But I mean, you're not. It, it's gonna be, yeah. You're expensive. Fish. I guess it's. I guess <coughs> my character will depend on what class I go with. Kind of, sort of, yeah. In all honesty. Because I want my species to go with my class really well, so. Honestly, most species can do any class. I assume that, but I just know <coughs> the modifiers that they have as a species mm -hmm. will help me decide, so. The first one on the list is the Jedi, but I'm not going to let you guys get the Jedi quite yet. Yeah. You know, some of you, maybe, one of you, who knows, mm -hmm. might become a Jedi. Right. That'd be awesome. But you do have the noble class, which the excerpt, uh, the noble class uses their intelligence and natural charisma to make their way in the galaxy. True royalty to elected officials, military commanders, to crime lords, traders, merchants, ambassadors, holobit stars, and influential corporate mag magnites, magnates, magnates. Wow. Character types who appear in the noble class are varied and numerous. Some bring honor to their name; others are sly and treacherous and dishonorable to the poor. Winning smile, a golden tongue, a powerful message, or a knack for making compromise, the noble command respects, makes friends, and inevitably influences people. <laughs> hey, y'all, huh? Good. You miss playing Star Wars? Maybe once in a while. I don't miss staying up until like 6 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> My body just cannot take it. <laughs> See here it says charisma is undoubtedly the noble's most important ability score, as a noble's skill is interacting with others and projecting a sense of confidence are crucial. Wisdom and intelligence form the basis of other important skills, so these ability scores are also significant. So right there it will basically tell you what bonuses in your species that mm -hmm. gives you might yeah. be helpful to pick those. All right, yeah. So that is a noble. Um, let's see. You have weapon proficiency pistols and weapon proficiency simple weapons. You'll have you have also have different talent trees you can pick your like some talents at first level and every other level. Odd number level after that you get to pick a talent from any one of these trees. Right. As long as you meet their prerequisite at the end of it, which is normally the ones before it. Gotcha. You have the scoundrel. Rogues, good, bad, neutral. Either live outside the law or fight against it. Come from any world or any region of the galaxy. Most use their intelligence and dexterity to accomplish tasks. And many rely on charisma as a fallback. The scoundrel gets by with bravado, cunning, duplicity, and trickery. They live by their wits, lying, cheating, stealing, and even fighting when need. And their abilities, dexterity, intelligence, are a scoundrel's most important ability score because you must have quick reflexes and a sharp wit to survive. Charisma is important for talking one's way out of trouble, and wisdom is useful for spotting trouble before the fight before finds the scoundrel. Let's see if you look here, it's about the same, it's basically is the same for each class, but you normally the first level you'll get your defense bonuses, your starting feats, and you get a talent. Then at the next level, level two, you get a bonus feat. So every odd number you get a talent, and every even number you get the bonus feat. Gotcha. That's how your character gets badass. And you do get class skills trained, and you get so many class skills you're trained in the beginning level, and then like your bonus feats you can spend on training yourself in another class, or another skill. Okay. Or you can train yourself further into a skill and get additional five points. Oh, okay. Because when you train yourself in a skill, you get a plus five to it, instead of just getting like one for a rank. All right. You get a plus five. Nice. Because you can use any skill, theoretically, except for some of the knowledge skills, you know? Right. But you can use any skill. And then once you're trained in, you just get a bonus. Yeah. And then you can get, like, improved training. That's what it's called. Okay. And you get another plus five. Yeah. So you can get an easy plus ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a picture of one scoundrel, and they have their own, you know, talent tree as well. Three different talent trees, and um, 
Each class, though, has bonus feats at every numbered level. Even number, you get a bonus feat. But it must be selected from the list of that class. Classes you can't just feats, pick yeah. whatever feat. you got to yeah. pick from that class. There's some feats you can just get over and over again, right? Right, like uh, skill stack. focus. And you mm -hmm. can get skill focus over and over again, provided it's a different skill every time. Right. That gives you the first plus five, and then you can get skill training. Is toughness one of those that you can get you over can get and over? You can get over and over again, yeah, okay. in the stack. That's what I thought. And there's probably some other ones in there too as well. I'd say I might be doing that like every other time I get a I get a fee. <laughs> <laughs> so I just like OP and health. You have the scout, you know. Scouts are natural explorers, adventurers, full of curiosity, and trained to handle the out of the way locations wherever they operate. Scouts tend to be independent and signing on when the credits are good and the skills are best utilized and tested. Scouts understand the lay of the land and the orbit. Uh, their abilities most scouts key and dexterity, intelligence, and wisdom. Strength is useful for the scout trained in athletic skills as well. And then you have this is the fifth one, last one, I believe. Soldier. Yeah. Discipline, martial skills, blah, blah, blah. Defender, Marauder, Adventurer, Hired Gun, Noble Champ, Cold Hearted, Bastard, Glory, Honor, Bitches, Well, yeah. Thrill. <laughs> uh, since most combat in the Star Wars universe uses blaster and other ranged weapons, Dexterity is the soldier's most important ability score, followed closely by Constitution and Strength. Gotcha. Don't underestimate the importance of intelligence and wisdom, however, since many of the soldiers' useful skills are based on these abilities as well. They do have the highest hit point uh, gain each level, too, which is 1d10. Nice. Which, at first level, you'll get max. Well, actually, at first level, says you begin play at first level with a number of hit points equal to 30 plus your constitution modifier. Okay. Then at each level, gain after, it's an actual, you roll 1d10 plus the constitution modifier. Okay. And it is different for each class. Like, like I said, 1d10 for soldier. Right, I think one of them said 18 earlier. Let's see, uh, in the scout, you get 24 plus constitution modifier, and then it's a 1d8 plus constitution after that. Scoundrel is 18 plus constitution modifier and a 1d6. Noble was lower, I believe. 18 plus constitution modifier, 1d6 is the same. And the Jedi is probably the same as a soldier, if not higher. And my 30 plus constitution modifier and 1d10 after. Yeah. The thing is, I know there's only a few classes you can pick from, but there are prestige classes you can acquire later on. Once you get to a certain level. And other requirements. Okay. Like some, you know, have require you have to be using the force kind of thing. Right, yeah. Let's see. I'll go back to the noble. Like I said, we're gonna skip the Jedi for now. Yeah. I'm gonna make you guys work for it. <laughs> here's the noble. I always say pick your class first and then look for a species that will accommodate the abilities needed for it. Right.
power move. Oh, and since I have a shitload of Star Wars minis, we wouldn't shouldn't have a problem finding a mini to match whatever character you guys pick. <laughs> There's a few I don't have of, obviously, but I do have most. See? So when are they doing the Nintendo E3? Your mom. Tuesday. What's happening on Monday? Sony. Damn. And a bunch of tournaments, like a Fortnite tournament and a Smash Brothers tournament and stuff like that. And Tuesday, too, and Wednesday. What it really <laughs> means they're pulling a train and smash your mom one on of my, Tuesday. One of my favorite YouTubers, because it's celebrities teaming up with, like, YouTubers and streamers and stuff. It's, each team has a famous person on the internet and then a famous person, like, celebrity-wise. So my fa one of my favorites, Steven R. Frags, is playing Fortnite with uh, Lil Yeezy, <laughs> the rapper. And this guy, Steven R. Frags, he's one of the most like Christian, like, you know, <laughs> uh, people I've ever read, ever seen in my life. And he's playing with Lil Yeezy, a, a rapper. That's fucking awesome. So that'll be interesting. Which I guess they've already hit each other up and talked. They get game plans. Like they, the <coughs> rapper hit him up. Like, hey. He's like, we gotta get things planned out. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, uh, the talent tree thing is kind of... Uh, I'm either gonna, I guess, go with the armor one or the probably weapon specialist one. So you can go with the soldier. Probably, if I go with the soldier, yeah. Yeah, the talent tree kind of makes the decision, too. Yeah. But honestly, it doesn't matter which talent tree you pick now, because you can pick from any talent tree. Okay, I just have to pick one of these. Yeah, you can just pick one talent. of those. Yeah, you don't pick yeah. really a talent tree, but you pick a talent from the tree. From the tree, okay. Yeah, so okay. you can pick this one at level one. Right. Then at level three, you can pick one from weapon specialist. Okay, good. And then go back to brawler or go to commander. Because I think at first, I'd probably start I'd probably start with armor stuff, because the one of the armor ones was like, uh, when Calcul... Uh, oh, let's see. I can't remember where it's yeah. at. Armor mastery, which... You need to have armor and defense to have it, which might be a... I think it's a... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Armor defense is know, actually just, right here. Uh, okay, I got your reflex. Yeah, either your heroic level or your armor bonus, whichever is higher. 
It's be proficient with the armor you are wearing you guys benefit. Yeah, because okay. if you're not wearing armor, you add your level. So, like, at higher levels, it would be better to not wear any armor, right? Right. Well, with um, armor defense, you can wear armor, get some of the be- get the benefits from the armor, and use your character level when it gets high enough to be better than your armor. You right. You still get the other bonuses and the penalties. So, like, like I could I could, mac- I, I could get rid of, like, if it makes me, say, slower in some regard, eventually I could get rid of that or something like that? The armor? Yeah, like, yeah. if the armor made me slower. Yeah, but, like, if you had armor that you found and for some reason it was, like, infused with something to increase your stats... I don't want to but do that. the armor class from it was low, right. but you can so you can choose your level. Because because what's the what's the thing that would like minus your uh, that armor would you know subtract like back in D and D. Swim was one of Swimming, them, but like the one that uh, was up here, like in the top stuff, there was always something that it would subtract. Like uh, I think it was one of the checks actually. Like uh. Okay, this one's a little bit different. Right, so um, we won't be making any of those, probably. Like, uh, we do have carrying capacities, which if you are carrying too much, you can become slower. Right, well, like, some of the armor, I remember, could make... Some of the armor will reduce your speed, too, depending on how heavy it was. Yeah. And you're probably thinking of, like, spell chance failures and such. Mm, yeah, and okay. That's not... A th- no, only. Yeah. You yeah. There, did the armor ever make you, like, minus to a, an attack bonus or anything like that? It didn't. Uh, some some armor would have a max dexterity bonus. Like, if your dexterity bonus was higher than the max armor dexterity bonus allowed, right. you wouldn't be able to use the rest of it, only gotcha. whatever it was, like plus so four. If, so if, if the armor in this has dexterity bonus eventually with these uh, talent trees, I could get rid of that? I think the armor... Okay, I see. It has an armor bonus to reflex defense and equip bonus to fort defense. And that has a max dex bonus? Max dex bonus. And then, like, your speeds, like, um, if you're normally a uh, six squares, mm-hmm. some of this armor, like the ceremony armor or battle armor, will reduce it to four. Okay. If you're normally four squares, you can reduce it to three. That kind of stuff. That's the penalty you got to worry about. The max dex bonus is something you got to worry about too. So that's another thing you got to worry about. Also, if you wear the armor, mm-hmm. you would still have the max dex bonus. You can only use whatever much, like uh, like a stormtrooper armor. Uh-huh. You only get a max dex the dex bonus of plus three, which might explain why they didn't hit that much. All right. But you would have a uh, equip bonus to your fortitude defense of a plus two, and then an armor bonus defense, a re- two reflex defense of plus six. Gotcha. Which. It's basically. It would give you a plus six to your defense here. Mm-hmm. And then it would give you a plus two to fortitude. Under, yeah, reflexes in the middle, and plus two to your fortitude. Okay. And then you would only have, like, plus three max on your your dexterity roll. Okay. But if you were, like, level seven, you can get a plus seven to your fort reflex and your will. Your will would get whatever your level is, because you wouldn't have armor. Right. I think. I'm pretty sure you'd be able to use that, but, too. Uh, so with these talents, I could get rid of the... Max dex bonus stuff. Like I could, I, I, like no, I could the make max dex bonus was gonna is gonna It'll stay regardless. Stay. Yeah. Okay. Only thing is, is that you'd be able to choose your level or your armor bonuses. So like some some armor you can probably find later on in one of these other books by finding it. Who knows where how. You would be able to gain something from it. Right. So I mean, but yeah. Like armor check penalty. This is against acrobatics, climb, endurance, initiative, jump, stealth, and swim. The type of armor worn determines the size of the penalty. Light is negative 2, medium is negative 5, and heavy is negative 10. Additionally, you do not gain the armor's equipment bonuses. For example, a character not proficient with light armor who does dons a suit of stormtrooper armor takes a minus 2 penalty on attack rolls and certain skill checks. These ones up here. In addition, it does not gain the armor's equipment bonus on perception checks and cannot apply the armor bonuses to his fortitude defense. 
Okay. So that's like important. You know? Yeah. What is uh, that armor? Bondoon. Uh huh. Craft Craft. shell. Uh huh. Um, it's rare, but it's a uh, it's Uzong Vong warrior armor. It's bioengineered. It's living armor, but it clings to the wearer and it bonds like a parasite, and it is there until the wearer dies or decides to remove it. But only Uzong Vong can use it. Okay. I just like that. See right here. I just like that everything was so high Mm -hmm. on this right here. To wear armor or not, characters' reflex defense can be improved with armor. However, a character who wears armor chooses to apply the armor bonus to the reflex defense instead of his heroic level. He also chooses to take a penalty on certain skill checks. As a character gains level, armor bonus is less enticing. For example, a 5th level heroic character has little reason to wear armor that grants an armor bonus of plus 5 or less. Unless the armor confers some other useful benefit or the character has the armor defense or improved armor defense talents. Still, some characters enjoy the benefit of having a higher fortitude defense and damage threshold against very dangerous opponents. Armor can literally be the difference between life and death. Okay. So that there's your there's your answer. Is Yuzong are they yeah, like a species in here or something? Uh, that they have them. They're not in that one. They sh- will be in this one. Okay. In, in the legacy era, after a certain point in time, some stayed behind and were known to, were helping the galaxy reborn themselves. It's on page. Okay. They're helping the galaxy try to re-terraform some of the planets that, that they terraform for their liking. Yeah. But Uh, the only thing cool about them is that armor. <laughs> <laughs> they don't do anything with the force, really. No, yeah, they actually they, they yeah. suck when it comes to the force, though. And they're technophobic. Yeah. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think if I even want armor at all. The level characters kind of like. How long does it take to become a heroic character? Well, you already are a heroic character. Level one heroic character. Okay. Because you can. So plus level plus after level five armor would <coughs> really be all that. Yeah. Beneficial to me, and you know depending on how I want to play. Heroic level basically means um, combined level if you cross class like because you can be like level three soldier then take the next level as a scout. Gotcha. Be level three scout level one. Level 3 soldier level and scout, but heroic level 4. Alright. Did you want to look at one of these other Mm -hmm. books? For species, or did you want to just look at one of these? I was probably (coughs) just going to look at one of those. Okay. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, If I do go with armor, I want a high max at X bonus, is the thing. But you you can take the armor off later, right? Yeah. If my dex bonus got higher than what the armor yeah. allowed? Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't get... I want to get that stuff, of course, when I took it off. You wouldn't get that sell price, you know, if you try to sell it again or whatever, you know. For well, oh, yeah, it. yeah, and then this there wouldn't be on me anymore. Yeah. I'd have to take those away. Yeah. You also, each class will start with a starting equipment credits. You'll mm-hmm. roll for it. So right, yeah. It, I it think all the soldier was... 3d4 times, times 250. Mm-hmm. Made a lot of credits, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, and what's, uh, what's to ref defense? What's that? Reflex defense. Reflex, That's okay. your... Uh, that would go there. Okay. Instead of your level. Or right, right there, yeah, right there instead of your level. Because it would be your armor bonus and that came from your armor. So the rough reflex defense will go there, and then the fortitude, the fort defense, fortitude will go here. Okay. Instead of your level. So if you had that, if you bought that at level one, whatever you got, say like you got the combat jumpsuit, 
which would give you a plus four to reflex, mm -hmm. but it does give doesn't give you any bonus to fortitude. So it'll be plus four. Um, level one, you know, one for level one, and then mm -hmm. one for level one on the will. Okay. Gotcha. And that that only help with the reflex defense stuff. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, it's almost better and more entertaining to not really get armor. I was about to say. I mean. I think you'll probably end up spending more money on random shit you do, and maybe like I'm buying gonna, random provisions. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna be trying to buy cool equipment and weapons later on, because one of my with my character I could get yeah whip, I could uh with the soldier. Um, Booty. Yeah. Um. Let's see. Is it cat? Yeah. I can choose a single exotic weapon or weapon group to be proficient in. So then I could, you know, use some exotic weapons and stuff. Oh, so what if you one use of one of those successful attack? Yeah, devastating attack. I can choose a single the exotic weapon threshold. or a weapon group. The damage threshold is basically proficient. if you hit, if you do, if you deal enough damage to equal their damage threshold, mm -hmm. it's like a suffering attack. They'll take that much damage, and mm -hmm. they'll go down one step on the condition track, which is at the top here. Okay. They'll go down from normal to negative one, which would be negative one to all defenses, defenses attack right. rolls, and ability checks. Okay. Then if it happens again, goes down to that, happens again, goes down to negative five, and then it goes negative, to negative ten, ten. then it happens again, you go unconscious. Yeah. Um, you can go back up to, you gotta like, think you gotta spend like half your turn. That Would that stuff rest. happen to me because I have this talent tree? This talent? No, that's or that be the, the one I shoot your them. Opponents, okay. Yeah. Uh, and then I have penetrating attack. Choose a single exotic weapon or weapon group which you're proficient. Whenever you make a successful attack against a target using such a weapon, you treat your target's damage reduction as if it were five points lower. So like if their damage threshold was like twenty five, and mm -hmm. you did damage that was twenty two, you would still hit their damage threshold. Gotcha. Nice. Is a single exotic weapon weapon group, which you're proficient. You get a plus two bonus on damage rolls with such weapons. Ooh, I'll probably be doing that one. <laughs> which one? Uh, weapon specialization, the which I need. The prerequisite is uh, weapon focus. Which of, shows an exotic weapon or weapon group. Okay, where's that? Weapon yeah. focus, I believe, would be a feat. A feat? Okay. Yeah. That, that I can do. <laughs> Look in here. This is the list of feats that a soldier can pick. Okay. Uh, exotic weapon proficiency is one of them. Weapon focus. Okay. So you, you can take weapon focus with a uh, weapon group, like a weapon say group. like heavy weapons or advanced melee weapons or simple weapons. Okay. That way any simple weapon you use would... You get a plus the, two on that. Is that a plus two also? Well, the, no, the weapon oh. specialization is, yeah. You get a plus two on damage rolls with such weapons, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. I have to have weapon focus on that group first. <coughs> on that group, yeah. yeah. Or well, if it was an exotic weapon, we would be that specific. here too somewhere? Oh yeah, it's later back. Okay. Uh, too far. I think. Yeah, too far. Keep going. Almost there as prestige classes. Droids. That's where you go to build a droid. Yeah. Vehicles as a character, as a PC. Right. Not bad. And other services. Keep going. I had tabs for this at one point. I took them yeah. off though. Okay, so it's it for armor. Rogue traits, which is something we'll go through, which will tell you height and weight, and it'll help you with their height and weight and such. And this is the fourth section. Okay. The next section should be feats. This should be feats. Or okay. skills. Yep, here's okay. feats. Okay, and I'm looking at weapon focus. And they should be alphabetical. Yeah. If it's just or a weapon group, you're essentially good at e using these weapons. Uh, you get a plus one on the attack roll, so then I could get another plus two later. Well, the uh, attack roll is plus two on damage for a weapon, fo uh, for the, uh, the talent. The talent, okay. The talent was plus two on damage On damage rolls, rolls. Yeah. okay, So you get nice. a plus one on attack. for weapon yeah. focus on... Yeah. You can gain this feat multiple times, and in effect, do not stack. 
but each time you take the feat, it applies to a new exotic weapon or, or a new weapon, weapon group. Okay, yeah. that makes sense. All right, so I'll probably be using those later on. See how much easier I this stuff makes sense already? I mean, yeah. I don't know if you're paying attention or not. Yeah, already. Fun boy. Yeah. Okay. I'm just waiting until I can also look at the book. Yeah. Like armor mastery, the maximum dexterity bonus of your armor improves by plus one. Must be pro proficient Sorry, with the I armor. Sorry, your direction. Uh, so I could make if I decide to get any of those armors, as long as I was uh, had armor defense. Right. As a prerequisite, I could make my uh, which is the dex other bonus right there. by plus yeah. one. Yeah. Well, do you care if I make a cup of coffee? Go, Go for it. Cool. Uh, when calculating okay. your reflex defense, you may add either your... Okay, doctor, yeah. Doctor, give me the news. I got a bad case of loving Jews. <laughs> you guys, have you fought a Jedi battle master? You'll fuck your shit up. One thing I forgot about this book, The Threats of the Galaxy, it doesn't list the... It lists the challenge level of them, but it doesn't list them in order, like on an ap appendix or whatever. Right. Of them in challenge level ordering. Okay, I think I am going to go with the soldier, but no more. <laughs> Turd. Because, like I said, I'm probably going to be doing toughness a lot with my... Feats. <laughs> so you'd be basically like the tank. So I'm just, yeah, you'd I'm just be gonna try and have a bunch of, of HP. You'd basically be the first person in the in the room. <laughs> just saw your Snapchat. <laughs> What'd you do? It was me. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care though. I sent it to you too. I haven't been on Snapchat in a while. Oh, I sent the same thing to Grant. He just uh, sent something back to me. That was a text. Who? Yeah, yeah. Tell Dyson I'm grinding <coughs> Fallout 76 with him. Oh, fuck B3 yeah. B3 was lit. <laughs> tell him, tell him, fuck yeah. <laughs> you know what? I'll be his nigger. I'll be his slave. I'll be <laughs> his slave. <laughs> I love, there's a meme I saw where it was like, Hey, can I use the, can I use the, uh, word that black people use? Can I call that? Can I call you that? To, uh, this is a, a white guy messaging a black guy, and he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, sure, just this once, and the guy's like, all right, slave. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I did. Yeah, and he's like, no, not wait. He's like, wait, no, not that one. <laughs> all right, slave. <laughs> all right, slave. That's something my dad'll do if I tell I ask him to do something for me. He'll be like, uh, what's the color of my skin? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> dad, you're a dick. Uh, and it, all the racist jokes I've ever heard in my life, I've heard from him. <laughs> He's like, what do you call a black guy with a pair of scissors? A combine. <laughs> <laughs> or what do you call a field full of black people? Antique farming equipment. Antique farming, yep, I heard that one before. <laughs> Who runs faster than a black guy with your TV? His brother with the VCR. That one's an old one. It's like yeah. a 90s joke. <laughs> because it's VCR. Or, so, my <laughs> or another one my dad loves is, uh, was like, one morning I, there was one night in the middle of the night I woke up and my TV was floating. So, yeah, drop it there. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dear lord. <laughs> I'm gonna have to bleep those in the in this if I if it sounds good. <laughs> There's some also, also other species in the back here too. Pneumonians, Aqualish, Huts. There's some longer back here as well. When we when we go back to regular D and D and I get a horse to ride and stuff like that. Oh, there's, al there's always gonna be there's going to be 13 names I choose from because there's 13 Triple Crown winners. So Nice. <laughs> most, the most recent one, which was just yesterday, on Saturday, was Justify. Well, can't we all get horses? You pay for it. 
I don't know. There's not horses in Star Wars, though. So. Oh, I was talking about when we play the original. Oh, movie. yeah. We can, yeah, we can yeah. all get horses, but you're not naming them in a Triple Crown winner. Horses, so. Well, that's bullshit. Huh. Why not? You can name it like a Pona or something. Huh. Well, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Neither of you have the rights to Epona, and you don't have rights to the Triple Crown guys either, so ha. Yeah. Uh-huh. My, in Elder Scrolls Online, <laughs> all of my horses yeah. I own are named after Triple Crown letters. <laughs> and this is why we know Dyson hasn't gotten laid. <laughs> American Pharaoh is my boy, though. He was the first one I ever watched won a Triple Crown in my lifetime. But there's been two Triple Crown winners in my lifetime. Yay. And then yours, your guys' is too. Because the one before that was 1977. It was like 37 years before a Triple Crown winner again. <laughs> again. Mm-hmm. Your mom's 1977. She was born in 1977, yeah. See, that's all good. <laughs> so technically she didn't have one in her lifetime yet either. Because she was born in August. The three races already happened. I think it was Seattle Slew who won in 77. Maybe I'm wrong. Oh, no, that was that was Admiration who won in 77. I like how people say that. I was born in, like, 88. I'm an 80s kid. No, nigga, you were a 90s kid. <laughs> <laughs> you were born in the late 80s, but you thrived in the 90s. Yeah. You were a 90s nigga. <laughs> yeah. I am uh, I like... <laughs> no, they're it's... 80s babies. What if we, just like, thing. keep recording just, like, audio... And keep cussing and kind of like acting a little black. Maybe people think we're black. And we'll have like FaceTime and all of a sudden we'll see them white. And we'll make a riot. <laughs> That'd be awesome. But then we'll pop up and be like, Black Lives Matter, guys. <laughs> It'll end all war and all hate. <laughs> all lives matter, right? Yeah. Right? Lives matter, right? Not if black lives don't. <laughs> it's like, hey, black lives matter. All lives matter. Yeah. What comes first in the alphabet? <laughs> <laughs> all lives. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> One of my favorite lines from Forrest Gump is Sorry I busted up for a little Black Panther party <laughs> <laughs> It's one of my favorites Alright, I got what I need for the time being I know that he just uh, And I love that he has had a Black Panther deal the whole time <laughs> Okay. Senior Dyson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <coughs> so, you know, your abilities that you need to pay attention most to is constitution and strength. Yeah. And then intelligence and wisdom. So your abilities, you would need to put in to that. Hey, you said you Yeah, I'm going to go with the, uh, uh, let's see. They're in the same list that these were. Okay. Uh, they're the ones with a plus one to their armor, right? And Trained Ocean. Uh-huh. But that's a minus two to the deck, so I might not go with them. You do have a pretty high... You do have two 16s. You could sacrifice one of them and make it a 14 and give you a plus two to decks. At least. Uh, I'll probably just go with a... There's a Trained Ocean right there. I'll probably just go with a Zebrak. So you don't have to worry about any yeah. adjustment modifiers. I mean, that's just a plus one and uh, the... Which would go into the miscellaneous, miscellaneous column. Okay, so I'll go ahead and put those there. Just you know, up here in your species, go ahead and write down Zabrak. And the player here would be your name. Not Zabrak's name, your name. Yeah. And we'll I figure the rest of that in a little bit. A little bit, yeah. So knowing that you don't have any adjustments to make... Mm-hmm. Go ahead and pick whatever number you want into okay. whatever. And my best, my main tuning to be what? Uh, Dex. Yes. Dex is then followed by Constitution and, and strength. strength. And okay. then it says again, don't, but don't forget about no, intelligence, intelligence and wisdom. wisdom. Okay, so I'm going to do... Since many of the skills are useful and based on these abilities. I'm going to do 16, my 16 and Dex and Constitution. I'll do 15 and Strength. You got two 15s and two 14s. And intelligence, and then I'll do Wisdom and Charisma and 14. Okay. So I'm, book, I'm more book smart than I am. Uh, experience and uh, uh, common sense character. smart. <laughs> yeah. 
Which is opposite of me. I'm more common okay, sense. Okay, so your 14 and 15 is 0 plus 2, and your 16 is 0 plus 3. Yay. Go to your species and get that information real quick. E. It shouldn't be very much. Nah. I guess I can choose my uh, score there for my thingies. Huh? Well, you, I mean, you want to. You, you want to wait until you find out what class you want to be, and then pick oh, okay, your species yeah. according to that. The yeah. species mm -hmm. will help you with your classes. No, that's right. Yeah, yes. and then that'll help you determine where you want to put your numbers. See. Do I need to write down what they da -da 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 -da. speak and all that stuff? Da -da -da -da. Yes. Where do I work? Languages. Okay. Zabrak and basic. Yeah. Yay. You are a medium sized creature, which uh, don't think you need to write that down anywhere. No, I just know I move six spaces. Six squares, yeah. yeah. Speed is six. Yeah. No. That's just the point. See. <laughs> you have heightened awareness, strong survival instincts, and quick reactions. The Zabrak may choose to reroll any perception check, but the result of the reroll must be accepted, even if it's worse. Do I need to write down special combat actions? No. Flip it around. I'm going to put that in. I would say put that in under force. Force powers? For now, yeah. Okay. Since it's a special yeah. ability for I them. would call it height. It's called heightened awareness. Okay. And it's basically a re-roll any perception check. If it's too low, I don't yeah. like it. Yeah. yeah, you have to accept the. Yeah, I have to accept, accept those, it. Yeah. yeah, even if it's lower. Yeah. Go ahead and write down also the superior defenses, which is a plus one species bonus to all defenses. Uh, superior what? Defenses. Okay. Just like the idea. Yeah, and it's a go ahead and write down the plus one species yeah. bonus to the defenses, all defenses. Do, 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 do. I like that I could do, 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 do. have a character similar to Darth Maul but with different colored face paint. Kind right. Of thing. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. So your hit points. Thirty plus your Constitution modifier. Okay. So, 33. Yee. And then, on the other back side, write down 1d10 plus constitution modifier. And that would be what you roll for okay. each level up, after when you level up. And I'm going to make you guys roll for this D4 Star Wars, because you start out with so much HP in the very beginning. All right. Uh, one D ten plus Constitution mod. Yeah. Okay. For HP on level up. Yeah. Right? Okay. HP level up. Cool. Now go back to the front. Locate force points. Right there. Yep. Which force points is five plus one half your character level rounded down. So, so first five. level is five. Five. Yeah. All right, your defense bonuses on class bonus. Uh huh. You get a plus one to your reflex. Okay. And a plus two to your fortitude. Plus two. All right. All right. Now, back page for your feats. Okay. You begin play with the following feats. You have armor, armor proficiency, light and medium. Okay. Weapon proficiency, pistols, rifles, and simple weapons. Uh, okay. Simple weapons was the last one? Yes, sir. Okay. Those are your starting feats for level one. You have your defense bonuses for level one. Mm -hmm. You get to pick a talent. Uh, and then on the front page, real quick. Okay. Your attack bonus. Alright. Base attack, basically, is what it is. It's a plus one. Plus one, okay. Yep. Now.
class skills, you are automatically trained in three plus your intelligence modifier. Uh, which one? Two. Uh, intelligence modifier. Uh, two. Yeah, it's a two. Yeah, so you have five it's automatic skills you're trained in. Five automatic skills I'm trained yeah, in? Yeah, three okay. plus your intelligence modifier. You get to pick from this list. You have to pick from this list. Okay. There's climb, endurance, initiative, jump, yeah. knowledge, tactics, mechanics, perception, pilot, swim, treat injury, and use computer. Okay. All those are basically what they say. Me, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's okay. that fucking simple. Okay. I mean, dear Dope. God. Uh, will endurance be useful? For certain situations, yeah. Yeah. I mean, okay. you can use endurance anyways, but you just won't have the automatic plus five, mm -hmm. which is being trained. I know when I last played Star Wars, a lot of my players would pick initiative and perception, because you do have a passive perception. Mm-hmm. I was looking at those two. I'm just trying to decide if I want climb or jump because I don't think I'll go with both. Uh, will I write that in my? Where, where are, will I write those? Uh, actually. Oh, and talents. No, this is because these are. Oh, these are class skills. Yeah, class okay. skills you begin trained with. If you pick whatever one you pick trained in, you just put a plus five in this column. Oh, on each one of these yeah. that I pick. Okay. Yeah, because then gotcha. it's basically your ability modifier plus your okay. half level. So at level one, you don't have any bonuses. I am going to go ahead one. and do initiative and what perception. Yeah, I wanted those for sure. Uh. Okay. Treat entry is pretty good also, and so is use computer. Yeah, I like the ideas of those. You mean uh, a soldier and kind of be a tank, honestly. Like, use computer may not be one you want. Yeah. Uh, uh, I will do a true injury, actually. Is that going to be more like uh, healing from D&D? &D? We'll go to it and read it. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to do jump instead of climb. You're talking about true injury now? Okay. Yeah. Quick description of treat injury. Or beats, God damn it. <laughs> Use the skills to keep a badly wounded friend from dying, to heal the injured, or treat a disease or poisonous character. So basically, treat injury will allow you to use first aid, which requires a med pack. As a full round action, you can't do anything else. Okay. You can administer first aid to an unconscious or wounded creature on a DC 15 treat injury check. Then the creature gains a number of hit points equal to its character level plus one for every point by which your check result exceeds the DC, which is the dice check. Basically. I call it dice check, but. All right. Uh, use a medical kit, grants a plus two equipment bonus on your skill check. If you succeed, the tended creature cannot benefit from additional first aid for 24 hours. You can do it on yourself, but you take a minus 5 penalty. You could also do long-term care if you have 8 consecutive hours. Uh, you can perform surgery only if you're trained. Mm -hmm. So you can do first aid untrained, but you can perform surgery trained only and requires a surgery kit. Uh, but with the uh, treat injury, if I had a med pack, that'll actually give them health. It won't just make them stable. It'll give them health, yeah. yeah. Okay. And like I said, you don't have to be trained to do that, but you do yeah. have to be trained to perform surgery, revivify, revive if somebody basically, treat disease, treat poison, or treat radiation. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll keep treat injury then. Okay. Um, There's also a thing with these skills. It's called taking 10 you know, or taking 20. Mm -hmm. Basically, is say like on certain skills, like this one here on treat injury, you can take a ten, which basically means you forego rolling and you automatically take a ten plus your skill modifier. Oh, okay. And but you can't take a twenty, which is like if you, which which isn't like you know you get a natural twenty. It's just like you take a twenty, but it's only it's like you get a <coughs> you roll a twenty without getting the critical hit right. version of the twenty. Gotcha. And by taking twenty instead. I. So. I'm going to look up um, endurance real quick just to see if if it says that it helps with this or that or, you know, specifically. Uh, okay. 
cool. You can hold breath for really long with endurance. <laughs> you can ignore hunger, ignore thirst. You can run as a full round action. See, I'm kind of wondering because each one might be a little bit different. If being trained, you might be able to do something a little bit more. Mm hmm. It doesn't sound all that amazing. Just, you know, convenient, really. It just gives you a higher role to do all these. Right. Okay. Uh, well, I have four so far. Uh, oh. I think I'll go with knowledge tactics. Is that that should help me in fights and stuff, hopefully. <laughs> Techniques and strategies for disposing and maneuvering forces in combat. Basically being trained, you have expert knowledge. You can make a knowledge check as a swift action to answer a question within your field of study that requires some level of expertise. The DC of the check ranges from 15 for simple questions to 25 for tough Oh, that's my Yeah. You can take a 10, but you cannot take a 20 on that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with this. If there's five of them that I get plus five, then I'll go with Honestly, right now, I don't think that's going to be really beneficial for you. Oh, the, the tactics, tactics yeah. I mean... All right. Oh, I forgot about swim, actually. Is swim one of mine that I can do a plus five in? Yes. Alright, I'm actually going to go swim, because from what happened in our last D&D session. <laughs> Somebody drowned or almost drowned? I, I mean, I lost a shit ton of health points because I can't swim right. I had to keep trying to jump. At five, or just three? It's five, because it's three plus my... Yeah, so you got two more to pick from. No, I've already added, I've already done five. And so I was asking if you got five. Yeah, and I had five to okay. each of them, right? Yeah. Okay. And now you get to pick your talent. Okay. And that's actually what's on my talent page. Real quick, go ahead and roll for credits. 3d4s. 3d4s? Okay. Times 250. Yeah. Okay. Keeping my uh, just, three, no. just three. Is it just three? Yeah. Okay. Really good. I hope. <laughs> three, one, and one, so five. We roll your ones just in case. If okay. you get ones again, although. Yeah. Two and four and three. Oh. So you got what? Eight, nine? It's nine. Nine. 2,250 credits. Okay. That'll be used to buy your startup weapons and equipment that you can use. 2,250? Yep. Okay. So, yeah, you get to pick your talents. You want your one talent. Okay. You kind of looked around there, too. Yeah. And then at level two, you can pick a bonus feat, which you have to pick from this list. Um, if you happen to pick Weapon Focus, mm -hmm. let's go to those real quick and I'll... It's not that far back. Maybe. It's the next chapter out of this shit. I guess that was going too far. or dumb or something. It's <laughs> a feat, William. Focus. What am I looking for? It's 
skill focus. Skill focus. How long are we wanting to do this? <coughs> huh? How long are we wanting to hang out tonight? That doesn't matter how long you guys want to hang out. Okay. You get a plus five competence bonus on skill checks made with one train skill of your choice. I just said no. You want to go oh, nice. early to work tomorrow? Uh, I work at one tomorrow. Okay. Then skill training is choose one un. Okay, so skill training will be the first one you get. Skill choose one untrained skill from your list of class skills. You become trained in that skill. So you get skill okay. training first, and it has to, and it's only going to be yeah your list of skills. I think what I'm going to do the first time I get a fee is probably uh, the bonus fee will probably be either toughness or weapon focus, or if I can even do toughness. So pick a time. Okay. Because I can't get the talent I want because I don't have weapon focus yet. <laughs> you ready for a cigarette? It's midnight. I want to see what talent he picks. Let's look at the Snapchat. Mm. If I must. Okay, this one actually doesn't make me have to use weapon focus. This first one. Devastating attack. Yeah, that one doesn't. Yeah. And I, I can choose a exotic weapon or weapon group to be proficient in, so... Yeah, but you have to be already proficient in that. Like, yeah, you already... What was it? that you're already proficient in, so it would be like pistols, Oh, okay, I have to already be a per and that's why I'd probably go one? with, that's why I'd probably go with weapon focus. Well, weapon focus is a feat. I, I know, but that would yeah. make me proficient yeah. specific ones, yeah. Okay. So you can take this talent multiple times, you just gotta pick a different exotic weapon or weapon group. Right. Because exotic weapons, when you take that proficiency, proficiency you take it according to that exotic weapon, like a Wookiee Bowcaster. Mm -hmm. If you ever get trained in it, then you can get exotic weapon training. Well, exotic weapon proficiency. Wookiee Bowcaster. So yeah, if you want to load, reload that, then after that, we'll go focus again. Yeah. Since, you know, it's my payment for showing you how to demo more. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> I guess uh, the first time I'll go with is just... Uh, Gun club, so I don't get a minus five if I have to melee hit someone with a, my gun. Because <laughs> I can't really think of anything else to use right now. Because I don't, I don't want aggro, so I'm not gonna get draw fire. There's already a new uh, Pokemon game for the Switch. It's like Pixel Club. Yeah, it's called Pokemon Quest. Yeah, because normally you're taking a negative five mm -hmm. with improvised weapons. Yeah, but are there are they ma are they mainly weapons in this? Yeah. Are they considered civil weapons? Mostly. Mostly. Okay. No, never mind. Fuck. <laughs> well, that's good though, because you would. Oh yeah, I'd have to I switch believe, weapons. Yeah. Okay, yeah, because they have the quick draw feed thing to it too, so that would be actually pretty good for. Yeah, I you forgot be, I'd have to switch weapons too. Specifically, too. yeah. Switch and but like, you can use that as if they rush you on your next and then turn. Uh, you can so use with gun club, it basically just turns my gun into a club to attack. Improvised weapon, yeah. Yeah. But you won't have a negative five for it, and you yeah. won't have to re-roll roll it as a mm -hmm. strength mod instead of a dex mod. Okay. To attack. Gotcha. 
So you, you got your talent. So that's yeah. everything's done except yeah. for equipment. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'm trying to remember what species started with the with the feet. I think it was the lizard people. Those guys. More than likely. I think they started with toughness too. So I got an extra three HP. Okay. That's simple weapons. Because you don't have exotic or advanced. Right, yeah. There's a knife, which does a D4. Club, D6, which your a rifle that you use mm -hmm. as a club would turn it to a damage of 1D6. Okay. Plus your strength mod. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to write that down next to gun club. Okay. So it's uh, 1D6. Okay. Pl is it plus anything? Your strength mod. Because you also have maces and spears. You can get a bayonet, mm -hmm. which does a 1D8. Yeah. You can get a quarter staff, which was 1d6. You can use it as a full round attack. Gotcha. Yeah, hit twice with it, you know. And I'm proficient with pistols and rifles, so. Magic. Which I'm assuming they're in here. Yeah. Range, yeah. Pistols. Blaster pistol holdout. Which is kind of like a hidden one in a way. Mm hmm. Let's see, it's weapon fires that. This weapon cannot fire at long range, so it's like medium to short range. Gotcha. And there's a dif difference in distance. You can get a blaster pistol, a sporting blaster pistol, which is a more accurate weapon. It takes no penalty when firing at targets at short range, because the shorter range it is, you actually have a penalty for shooting at a shorter range. Oh, okay. Yeah. It would be better to use, like, club. Yeah. Ion pistol, which does energy ion damage, useful against droids. Okay. And you have a slug thrower pistol, which... It's piercing instead of energy. Yeah, basically just throw slugs, mm -hmm. as it says. And then you have a heavy blaster pistol. Uh, did you have proficiency with rifles? Yep. Mm -hmm. So you can get a blaster carbine, which is not accurate at long range. Uh, blaster rifle, 3D8s. Blaster rifle sporting, 3D6. Ion rifle, slug thrower rifle. Well, I think I know what rifle I'm going with. Which one? Probably the blaster rifle. The basic... The 3D8s? Yeah, well, there's the sporting, which is 3D6 and costs less, but it's no penalty at short range. No penalty at short range? That's, uh, that's, that's... And the only difference is, is that the sporting rifle is a single fire. It's not automatic, yeah. And then you yeah. can do automatic with the blaster rifle, which... Is that, was that, does that change a lot, or...? It does a little bit different. Up and right before. Yeah. Probably back to the swing. Because uh, there's. out that's super <coughs> super easy to get LSD online. Oh yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Cause uh <laughs> range weapons have either a single so shot setting S or auto fire setting. A few weapons have both and can be set either single shot or auto fire with a swift action, which is like a free action. Yeah. Only range weapons that held multiple shots of ammunition can have an auto fire setting. Can only be one alternate setting other than its default. Auto-fire only weapons with stun settings can deal stun damage in auto-fire mode, but still have a maximum range of six squares. What is what does short range entail? Any range weapon that is auto-fire can be set on auto-fire. Indicates whether blah blah blah. Auto fire is treated as an area attack. You target a two by two square area, so you know four square, mm -hmm. and make and make a single attack roll at a minus five penalty, and compare the result to reflex defense oh. of every creature in the area affected. 
Right. Creatures you hit take full damage, and creatures you miss take half damage. Okay. And it consumes 10 shots or slugs. You can only use the weapon that has 10 shots or slugs on it. Okay. If you're using an auto-fire only weapon, you may brace your weapon by taking two swift actions. You can get up to three swift actions in a turn or four, maybe, in the same round before making your attack. When you brace an auto-fire only weapon, you only take a minus two attack to penalty to your attack roll. Gotcha. Uh, and what and what entails short range? Like they're within melee or? No, it's actually a little bit difference from a different uh, distance. Okay, based on type of ranged weapon, let's see you have a rifle, mm -hmm. point blank, no penalty, uh, 0 to 30 squares away, okay? Okay. So short, 31 to 60 squares is minus 2 to attack. Okay, so if I'm within... Uh, within 30 squares, you have no penalty. Okay. And it within if you're within... 31 to 60, it's minus 2. 61 to 150, it's minus 5. And okay. 150 or more, up to 300 squares, is like the max for rifles, is minus 10 to attack. Okay. And with that sporting one, the short is whenever it doesn't take the penalty? Yeah, so it won't take a penalty for minus 2. Okay. But when it goes up to the next stage, it'll be like a negative 5. Okay. Unless it states that it doesn't... I don't think it did, so we read the description. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it... Uh, sporting. Yeah. Uh, does it does it do stun damage? Yes. Each pack power pack has a hundred shots and has a hundred shots. It can do stun damage. Yeah, only okay. has a single shot though. That's fine. I don't think I'll ever. Well, I might use auto. Uh, do pistols have that? What? Okay, I think I know what I'm going to do. Uh, I'll probably take one sporting, and it'll probably be the pistol. The sporting blaster pistol? Uh-huh. And then if I ever need to do any multiple attack, you know, the four square thing, I'll just take a regular blaster rifle for a thousand. Okay. So that's minus 1,300 yeah. credits. I'll just write that down real quick. And then write, and write down, down each one in here, too. Yeah, and blaster pistol sporting... Weighs one kilogram. And the weight you can write down over here. Okay. Or if you want to save space, you can always write the weight next to the item as well. Or you probably won't be writing down that much equipment to be yeah, honest with you. Yeah. No, I and I'm just gonna say it has no penalty to short distance with the pistol. And I'm just doing a regular blaster. Okay, blaster rifle. And it weighs 4.5. Okay. And now I need to write down really their fun. stuff. So we'll go with your blaster rifle first in the top? Yeah, that's going to be my main weapon. Yeah. Blaster rifle. So the attack will be your base attack uh -huh. plus your dex modifier. Okay. So um, let me double check something because you do add something else to it. Oh, okay. For range. Base attack, dex mod. Okay. Oh, it's for the damage. Okay. Yeah, so that's it. My attack is the. Base attack plus your dex mod. Okay, so. Be so plus four. Four, yeah. okay. Uh, and the damage mm -hmm. would it's be a 3d8. Yeah. Plus one half your heroic level rounded down. So level one, you don't get a plus, but okay. level two, you get a plus one to it later on. Okay. The crit range. Does it say it? <laughs> I guess it's just times two. No, don't worry about the crit range. So I guess it's going to be... Yeah, basic would probably just a straight 20 times two. Yeah, yeah. so we'll just put times, times two, two for Because, yeah, only we all get is with a 20. I'd say that's pretty default. <laughs> okay, type was energy, I believe. Yeah, it was. 
Uh, so yeah, I don't get anything what else damage. Is that? Notes. Um, that's your blaster rifle. Yeah. And power pack. So you have 50 shots per power pack. Okay. So 50 shots. Oh, right on your nose, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so your sporting Cause. blaster pistol. Uh-huh. I know it's 3D4 on the damage, right? Mm-hmm. What's his uh, attack? Oh, and I am going to write stun in the notes. Yeah. Well, you, your uh, rifle does it, too. Your rifle can stun. Yeah, I wrote, them. I, I wrote it down. Okay. Uh, the attack would be the same thing as your other one, because okay. it's ranged. All right. Four. And does it say crit anywhere? No. So, same thing? Yeah. Okay. Energy. Yep. And the sporting blaster pistol uh -huh. has 100 shots per power pack. Okay. Wait. After six shots, the energy cell must be replaced. So you can use energy cells if you want. They're cheaper. Uh-huh. Um, but uh, a sporting blaster can also be attached to a power pack, but after 100 shots, the power pack must be replaced. Okay. I'd say just go with power packs. Yeah, yeah soldier, totally. For fuck's sake. After six, yeah, it's basically yeah. nothing. <laughs> Compared to 100. Uh, do I need to do my level and armor for the defenses? Right, you basically just so write down one, one on and then level. you're... Modifiers. It tells you which modifier you need to. Right. Do you want a melee weapon at all? Uh. Because you didn't take that one feat, that one talent, right? I took the. I did take the gun club where I can hit with okay. my weapon. So you're just gonna do that. Well, I'll look at the melee weapon see if there's one that's like crazy strong compared oh. to one d six. A mace for one d eight. But I'm only. It's only simple weapons yeah. that I'm. A mace for one d eight. A spear for one d eight. Which is a spear you can be you can throw. Okay. And it doesn't say, but usually a spirit has a reach of two squares. Okay. Like, well, actually, no, because each square is a meter, and a meter is three feet. Yeah. So. And what's what the... Is that because it attacks twice? Because you can use a full round action and attack twice with it. Both okay. ends. Okay. Each either end does 1d6, basically. Uh... I will take one just in case. Uh, I go with a mace, to be honest with you. Yeah, I was thinking that too, because if I'm going to use range and I'm just going to use a blaster, I have no reason to use a spear. Yeah. Uh, I think they put spear and quarter staffs in for like certain species. Right, yeah. Because a bayonet I just put on my weapon, wouldn't I? You could. Or you can use it as a makeshift dagger, essentially. Yeah, I'm just going to go with mace. Okay, so mace. Yeah. And the attack for it... Actually, oh, I yeah. I'll write it down back here first. 2.5 kilograms. Okay. And it's 50, 50 credits. Yeah, I wrote it okay. last 50. Uh, the attack for it would be your base attack plus your strength mod. Okay, so 3. And the damage and the is 1d8. 1d8 plus your strength mod. Okay. Your range doesn't get the plus because it's not using your dexterity to... You know, right, and it. the type is... Bludgeoning. Yeah. Okay, and it's Korea. It's probably just a times two. Yeah. Okay. All right, that's everything I'll take. I need to not use an armor, so. And oh yeah, I need to do my ability mod. So Constitution, Dexterity, and Wisdom. Okay. One, two, three, six, seven. There's other equipment you can buy. Calm links, long and short range. A credit chip, which you can keep track of all your money and you can pull money out, you know, or use it to pay. All right. I'll think I'll worry about after branding it's all set up so we can decide what both of us will buy. Kind of a thing. Cute. So it's like attack rolls for melees. Your d20 plus a base attack bonus plus strength modifier. And for range, it's base 
closer dex modifier plus, plus range penalty, penalty if any. Yeah. Then damage is weapon damage plus one half heroic level rounded down plus strength mod. And range is weapon damage plus one half heroic level. And then like your defenses, you know, ten plus all that. Yeah. You can have a thing called second wind. If you're reduced to one half your max hit points or less, you can catch a second wind as a swift action. This action heals one quarter of your full hit point total rounded down, or a number of hit points equal to your constitution score, whichever is greater. You can catch a second wind only once per day. Some feats and talents allow you to do it multiple times. Only heroic characters can do catch a wind. Non-heroic characters and other such nonsense cannot. Creature reduced to zero hit points moves five steps on moves minus five steps on the condition track and falls unconscious. However, if the damage that reduced the creature to zero hit points equals or exceeds this damage threshold, the creature is killed instead. Enjoyed or object or vehicle is disabled or destroyed. The damage threshold attacks the ideal massive amount of damage can impair and incapacitate you regardless of how many hit points you have remaining. Okay. Your damage threshold determines how much damage a single must attack must deal to reduce your combat effectiveness. Right, and what size modifier? Creatures, droids, and vehicles larger than medium size get a plus five, plus ten for huge, twenty for gargantuan, and fifty for colossal. But it's your forty-two defense plus your size modifier. So, like being medium size, you don't get a bonus. Okay, so <coughs> it'll just be my forty-two, 42. defense. So it's going to be... Which will go 42 defense there, and some bonuses you can get, so yeah. that would be your 42 defense, essentially. Okay, so 7. You can spend a force point and avoid death immediately from damage threshold. Nice. I mean, like the Izanagi that the Sh Sharingan has. Yeah. <laughs> but they only get two of those. <laughs> When you fall unconscious, you fall prone, unable to take actions. After, it says one minute, ten rounds, you make a constitution check. If you succeed, you move one step up on the condition track and regain consciousness and recover hit points equal to your level. You can act all normally on your next turn, although you start prone. If the check fails, you remain unconscious for one hour, after which you can attempt another constitution check. You make a new check every hour until you gain consciousness if you fail by five or more points. Or if you roll a natural one in your constitution check, you are dead. If you fail a constitution check to regain consciousness, your condition becomes persistent, which means that you can't heal damage naturally and can't use a recover action until you have surgery performed. Or you are on you or until you get eight consecutive uninterrupted hours of rest. So basically all you gotta do now, I'm gonna evade your space here in a minute. It's all good. Um, you don't gotta worry about this first column because it's half level. Mm -hmm. Next level you will, but your ability modifiers go all the way down, down there. here. Yeah. And you add them across, and then that's skills that's are done. It. We don't have to do any skill, all that stuff like we did in D&D. Right, right. Okay. And the dark side points, it depends on which one it is, but it's based on how many, it's based on one of your um, ability scores. Okay. It's a dark side score, I should say. Is there a, uh, um, like Here's the chart for ages and shit. Okay. Like, we'll probably make you guys, like, adults. Yeah. So, Zabrak adults, age 15 to 44. Okay. So, pick a year in between there. Average, are you a male or female? Uh, I'll go with a male character. Average height is 2.2 .2 meters, and average weight is 125 kilograms. Alright. So something around that is what you want to use. Okay. And what was the height? 2.2 .2 meters. Okay. Let's see. I'll just... I'll just go with 2 meters on the height. Hmm... Weight was 125 kilograms? Yes. Okay.
Dark Side Tracker is a useful tool for tracking a hero's devotion to the Dark Side. It's represented as a row of 24 numbers, numbered boxes at the bottom of your Star Wars character sheet. A character Dark Side Tracker should have a number of empty boxes equal to the character's wisdom score. Any boxes extra should be shaded in or blacked out. So your wisdom score is 14. Uh huh. So anything after 14 is null and void. Would be shaded out essentially. Okay. You could probably just put an X on the first one. Or, yeah, that yeah, works too. I'll just do that. Little squigglies. Whenever a hero's dark side score increases by one, the player fills in one of the empty boxes on the character's dark side tracker. When the character has no more empty boxes, he is considered to be dark and now effectively lost to the dark side and has little hope of finding redemption. Whenever your character's scores increases by one, you would gain additional empty box, and the box remains empty until you acquire another dark side point. Yeah. Can't atone. I'm yeah. only ten points away from the end and the dark side. What do you mean? I mean, I have... No, right now you have no dark side points, so when you do well, something no. evil, you would gain one. And then when you fill in all these up to 14 mm -hmm. is when you become dark side. Oh, okay. And then when you get, the, if you increase your wisdom... I thought, like, I thought it was like I would erase one of those until I was... Oh, no, 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 no. no. If, you, okay. if you gain an additional wisdom score point, you mm -hmm. would erase the 15, and then you would have to do something evil enough. Which all the way up then, to 15. To yeah. The, okay, that makes So, like, sense. if you're at 14, you gain a wisdom point. Yeah. You're not really concerned. So I have to get up to 14 at the moment to be dark. Be dark, yeah. yeah. Got it. You better ready your house mute. Yeah, yeah I'm down. I believe so. I'll mess with this <laughs> later. Yeah, because you're, you're helping him. Your initiative will be down here. Yeah. yeah. Your perception will be down here as well. Uh, is there anything that like entails like if you're gonna get hit by an enemy like there is in D and D, the whatever thing it's called? I always forget. Your, uh, like, uh, it's their armor thing. Like their armor thing's like a sixteen. I have to roll higher than a sixteen to hit them. Yeah, it's the same thing. That there is that in this. <coughs> okay. Where do we write that down? <coughs> is it one of these two things? No, it's damage reduction and shield rating. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I think everything goes based against your reflex, because er that's all plus 10. You see the 10 in there? Oh, I forgot about yeah, the 10. Yeah, so it's 10, so it'd be 17, oh, okay. 17 16, so 14. So this is actually 17. Um, there we go. Yeah, it's 17, 16, 14. Okay, so they have to get a 16. No, they have to get higher than 16 to hit, reflex right? Reflex defense represents how hard you are to hit in combat. Okay. And most attacks target a creature's reflex defense. So, certain things will attack, mostly everything will attack your reflex defense, some things will attack your fortitude, and some things will attack your will. Okay. Most force abilities will attack the will defense. And, like, fortitude, getting shot at in melee is going to be reflex. Reflex, and, like, okay. fortitude is, like, poisons and such. Gotcha, yeah. Hmm. Let's go smoke that cigarette. Yeah. Because right. I believe after that, we'll be doing yours. Yeah. You just need to pick a name. Yeah, I'll fill out all the rest of it. Fill all the rest of that yeah. out. Um, yeah. Does that sound good? See how yeah. fast that was compared to last time. I mean, it may not seem that fast, but I mean, like, it really was. Ooh, ah. Uh,